Hey, what is up guys? So on January 30th, or just four more days, the new Hero Strike Structure Deck is going to be coming out into the TCG, but let's go ahead and cover the best cards out of this actual box. So for the Ultra Rare in this, you'll be getting the Contrast Hero Chaos. Uh, for Super Rares, you will be getting the Mass Hero Dark Law, you'll be getting Mass Hero Koga, you'll be getting Mass Hero Divine Wind. Good luck making this without Stratos. Uh, and then you get the Elm to Hero Shadow Mist. Now these are all Super Rares, so you get four Supers and an Ultra, so that's not too bad there. Um, and then other notable cards in this set were uh, Mass Charge and Mass Change number two. You also get Pod Duality, you get Bottomless Trap Hole, and you get Honest, and um, you get like Compulse. You get a few good staple cards for other decks, but for the most part, I don't think this is worth actually investing into if you want to play something else besides heroes. If you guys want to check out the full spoiler list, I'll put a link down below in the description box. Um, I like this picture a little bit better that uh, Vexkiss had. It basically just puts everything in a nice one little image for you guys. But yeah, like I said, uh, I mean, there's a lot of great stuff. If you're interested in playing heroes, this is going to be great for you. There's a lot of like mediocre cards that you probably will not be using in this. But nonetheless, like I said, it comes with uh, a decent amount of foil. So if you're maybe newer to the game, uh, it can attract, you know, maybe if you want to introduce a player into playing the game. It does also give you a uh, Miracle Fusion, which is actually pretty cool. But uh, without Stratos, I'm just a little bit saddened here seeing this. But you also get Great Tornado. Not that that card was really relevant or very expensive anyways. You get like Card Trooper, which is kind of cool too, but um, for the most part, I feel like uh, this is not going to be a great set or a great structure deck to invest into, meaning buying a lot of copies and trying to resell the cards individually. Uh, like I said, there's a lot of great little staples in it. We got Bottomless, we got Compulse, uh, there's Pot of Duality, which isn't bad, there's Reinforcement on the Army, there's an E-Call, so there's a lot of good stuff uh, specifically for heroes, but as far as making money off of I don't find this to be the uh, best set. But anyways, guys, uh, if you felt like I missed out on anything or any comments you guys want to make, let me know in the comment section below. But for the most part, I just think that it's so funny that we still have Shredder's ban in the DCG, but um, I don't know how they put this card. They're giving us this card, but uh, yeah, we need that Stratos, man. But um, I mean, the heroes really don't need Stratos to function anymore, but it's going to be interesting to see what decks will actually make uh, use of Mass Change 2, because not every deck really needs to play heroes to make use of Mass Change 2, because uh, Dark Law can do a lot of different things for the game. Uh, basically, opening up with this card against a lot of decks, simply uh, some decks can just lose if they revolve simply around the graveyard, and they revolve around like searching extra cards out, because you're going to be able to get... Uh, uh, the ability to banish one random card from your opponent's hand. So I think this card is pretty much the uh, main emphasis of the deck. The other cards are pretty mediocre, and uh, other than just getting out Dark Law, uh, heroes really haven't changed too much other than maybe perhaps being able to OTK pretty hard, but the uh, hero lives in some stuff. But anyways, thanks for watching, guys, and like I said, let me know uh, maybe what was your favorite card out of the... Uh, stuff we mentioned or if you guys want to check out the full spoiler list personally for me i feel like dark law was the only well that and mask uh change number two is the only real thing that's going to make uh heroes uh do really anything different than they already were uh, also there's the uh Mass Charge, which, which kind of helps some recycle, but for the most part, um, I don't see just this edition of Dark Law making heroes like a high, high tier deck when you compare it to uh, the Necloths or the other stuff that's coming out in the game. But anyways, let me know your thoughts in the comment section below, but thanks for watching, guys. Asian Eyes out.